Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Welcome in my not Windows laptop. Well, I'm saying not Windows laptop because this is not Windows. This is what you're seeing here, peeps. This is an operating system that looks kinda like Windows, but it's not Windows. Okay? It's not Windows. This is, well, <laughs> it looks like Windows, eh? This is Linux, people. This is a version of Linux that I changed around to have a kind of look and feels that I like. These are the look and feels that I love to see. When I create uh, a desktop, I want it to be, you know, kind of Mac styled, but that is not because uh, I want it to look like a Mac. I think this looks just fantastic. But of course, you could also have this at the bottom, but I just made it this way. So let's say this is my look and feels that I want to give my computers. So yeah, what can you do with this? Well, peeps, you can do many things with it. I already made a review, but uh, some way I was not recording and I spoke for 30 minutes and then I found out that I was not recording. So I made kind of... Uh, uh, a preview session first well this is an operating system with its own app store you can see that the Ubuntu software app store is installed but in fact this is not the Ubuntu software app store uh, this is not Ubuntu this my friends is Lubuntu and here you can see Lubuntu this is Lubuntu and in Lubuntu I found the Ubuntu software center so because Ubuntu is the mother operating system of Lubuntu you know uh, Lubuntu will also run of course files for Ubuntu but Lubuntu was made light and um, yeah I must say it works fantastic I have totally no complaints of what I see until now also live television uh, works fantastic it's really fast well I'm not gonna play RTL because I'm gonna get copyright complaints I don't want that but here you can see this is uh, a Dutch stream And you can see that uh, it's really fast, uh, even though we're recording the screen at this moment, there, there's no lag or so. You see, it looks good. I'm not gonna show too much of this, but you can find it out yourself. Skype works, uh, I installed Skype. To get Skype to work, uh, you must get the Alsa mixer and install it also out of the App Store so you can get things to work about Ubuntu Ubuntu is a mother operating system that was the first operating system ever that came with its own app store its own app store that would provide the user with software created by the uh, community that deals with the software as you can see things are really changeable for instance this orb that you see here if I want to change it around I just change it in another one here for instance I have another one here and I will just change it and then now it's blue you see that or if I wanted to make it another color this one for instance close oh that was the blue one so now it's blue I also have other ones I also have the colored one that I have in my uh, that I have a t-shirt from I have that in the Lubuntu Mac that's I think this one no no not that one uh, this one yeah there it is close you see now we have the colored start menu it looks fantastic don't you think of course it does not come this way it comes with another background and of course this is not the original windows 8 wallpaper this is kind of uh, by idea of the windows 8 wallpaper or the windows 10 wallpaper eh? so yeah um the icons you can change them around you can change the look and feels by going to preferences and say uh, customize look and feel you know um, you can make this bigger if you have bad eyes just make it 15 you see and then everything will get kinda bigger and also here in oh then you must hit apply first and then also here 
you will see that everything will get kind of bigger where is it you see that so you can read it more easy uh, about apps I already told you you get them out of the app store but some apps certain apps special apps you must install via the terminal and the terminal well we all know the terminal that is the CMD screen that we also have in Windows and from here we can do commands what more can I show you uh, yeah we changed uh, the icons a bit around you can see it looks fantastic eh? we also have the weather here Amsterdam weather um, yeah this is our trash can almost looks like the windows trash can you see that it's it's kinda like the windows trash can but just it's just a little bit different so you can see that windows is also looking at 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 at, at Linux and Linux probably also whatever everybody's looking and learning from each other that's a fantastic thing of course uh, here we have uh, our connection Wi-Fi and this is the internal Wi-Fi of a MacBook we're on the MacBook 4.1 people this is a MacBook 4.1 so this is uh, yeah in fact now a very uh, advanced uh, system with lots of possibilities even more than a Mac could ever do and I'm not talking about running iMovie or running you know Mac apps that you're using out there this is another world and here you should find your way and everything that is out there is also in here but in another way and maybe you cannot do like really everything with this but hey for browsing for skyping for uh, whatever you know you do on the internet eBay uh, sales uh, graphics uh, uh, YouTube uh, name it Facebook you know this is even better because it does not uh, collect any information about you and uh, whatever you do on the internet is you know private to you and you know um, yeah and how can you know if Linux distributions are safe well um, it's very simple if you have uh, a product uh, then people from outside will look out at the product other developers will take a look into the product at the code and they will inspect everything that has been changed to whatever or been added to and if there's something wrong in there they will find out because you know these are yeah very smart people so developers in Linux world are also inspecting each other that's why it will never be a one-way uh, one-way inspection this is an inspection that is you know being done by thousands of developers worldwide they all have the code and they can all look look into it and you know if one developer did something wrong like pair OS you know pair OS stole the code from you know the other guys used the code and called it his own and whatever and then they found out well he had to close his site you know because nobody was you know taking him serious his, his this is still around and it still works but you know nobody's using it because everybody knows how it was created so that's about it uh, how can you get this you can get this by going to uh, Lubuntu just look for Lubuntu Lubuntu is uh, out there for you uh, to download um, let's see if I can find something for you here uh, Lubuntu 15 that's the latest download and you won't find a second uh, Ubuntu that looks like mine and uh, here you can see 15 and it's only um, bop, 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 bop. how big is it it's only I cannot even see how big it is 610 megabyte so this is not even uh, over okay here you also have the desktop this one is 1.1 gigabyte 32 bit oh, you see you have several versions this is the server you don't need the server you need the desktop of course 64 bit here 1.1 gigabyte so that's that is what you must expect 1.1 uh, gigabyte download and then burn it to a DVD and uh, boot from it and install it and you know this thing is running as the only operating system on the MacBook 4.1 wide 13 inch and uh, well this this thing runs fantastic and it you know will probably uh, run keep running this because I love the way how it works and I also love uh, the uh, the agreement 
of this operating system you can change it modify it you can sell it you can do whatever you want with it you know as long if you you know uh, credit the sources etc 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 and that's the only thing that you have to do and uh, for the rest this is yours and you know god bless you and be happy with your computer that is how simple linux works and linux is so i think linux uh, will be uh, kind of uh, for some people i think also a big group of people maybe 20 percent of the real users will be uh, on Linux and I think maybe even a bigger group will uh, jump up to Linux uh, just because of you know how it's now with operating systems following you and uh, you know recording whatever you're doing whatever you're typing going into your private folders and if they don't like what it's in there they can call the police on your authorities to lock you down so you know you're having like a spy system in you that is listening to you while you're having conversations with other people recording your stuff sending it to the maker and all these things well none of that is happening here in Linux you know the developers out there you know they make sure that these things don't happen in Linux world so that is how simple it is so it's up to you if you want to use Linux if you're not going to use it there are thousands of others that will you know and will have the benefits of a free operating system that is created for the people and not against the people people thank you again for watching uh, this video I, I think it was fantastic to make I hope you liked it um, if you did you know uh, you know what to do leave a little like behind subscribe to my channel because uh, you're gonna see even more Linux projects will come by because I still have a MacBook 1.1 it's still running one Windows 10 and uh, also permanent activated but I'm also gonna delete that one and then we're gonna see how uh, Ubuntu Mint or what was it Ubuntu Mate latest version runs on that machine so we can also get the idea how we can update the 1.1 MacBook to an operating system that is supported with the latest security patches.